This video is all about DNT district finally taking off once again. We also are looking at Bitcoin and uh, you know the good old sweet dip we had. So let's just get right into it. As we can see, looking here in the market cap right here, things are starting to tick up a little bit. Doge doing very well, 26%. Last 24 hours look a lot more green. A lot more green, that's nice to see. There's a lot less red. There's still some decent buying opportunities. So let me know what you bought down below. But moving on to DNT, this thing on Pro Coinbase, you know, we got on this channel, we got into DNT under a penny. Currently it's around 38 cents. It was pushing 40 cents as high of, of around 44 cents today. So smash the subscribe button if you have not already. But let's go check out the charts and see what's going on there. So we've been looking at this for a little while now Been posting about it in the discord. So definitely sign up for that down below as well. But it, you know, we had the massive breakout. We had confirmation right there on the uh, April 17th. We closed there. That's very good. But then Bitcoin Saturday night decided to take a good old dump. Not to write back down, down to support down here. Finally, I mean, I'm glad it held and it pumped up today looking mighty fine. We did not get above the 45 cents, but uh, I mean, it's still moving. We still have five hours left. Super excited, let's pull up the MACD and RSI, as we can see here on the MACD. Let's zoom in a little bit here. You can see, you know, we pumped up really good. That's why I was saying, hey guys, I called it back in this region. Look, we're starting to cool off. We're starting to cool off. I think this is gonna look good. And it did turn out very good until Bitcoin decided to dump. There's always that caveat, hey, if Bitcoin dumps, a lot of things will dump as well. So just keep that in mind. But on the flip side today, it just shot right back up, looking very bullish. It was looking very bearish yesterday, but hey, that's how a lot of coins are looking as well. That creates a nice buying opportunity. The faster something moves one way, typically means that it's not sustainable that way. So the cool thing is that's what I've seen so far previously in trends. So that's what uh, like seems to happen. And that's definitely nice that it played out this time as well. Now we still have to watch Bitcoin. We're gonna check Bitcoin out later in this video. But uh, the RSI has just been chopping around, it fell down low, low around 45. We bounced in between this 45 and 67 region. We'll see if we get that back up there. I'd love to see it get back up above the previous all time high right here of 92 ish, what it looks like. We're actually back here, like 94. So we'll see what's going on there. Um, and we knew just going back here, there's always these parabolic moves with DNT. They go absolutely like 800% there, bam. I think this is like a 400%, bam. Another bam, like getting ready for this thing to pass. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see something in the 80 to 90 cent region based off previous pumps because they keep lessening percentage wise. So around 80 to, to 90 cents would not be surprised. Obviously, I'm not a financial advisor. So, you know, you got to do your research before you decide to invest. But let's zoom in, check out the four hour. What's going on there? Ooh, we're liking that. It's holding right now currently, and the MACD is still pumping up. That's good. RSI still has room to grow. Let's get it back up. Uh, more recent high of 81. Let's get that going. That that would be nice to see. But of course, you know, I like to get that long term perspective because we've been in this for a while. Uh, smash that like button if you guys li like like this content. We've been in this for a while, and uh, I mean, it's, it's been doing good. Look, it's it, taking up right there. Let's get the RSI right back up there, making all time high territories. And look, it's just. It's looking good. I'm hoping this is the time because we had the fake out back what was like March 20th, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm hoping uh, we don't have that issue again. But uh, of course, Bitcoin, it, like, let's go check it out. Let's go up to good old Biddy. I do not like what I see with the moving averages right here. The 13, the 20, and the 50. Uh, we, we can't even hold the 50 right now. We can't even hold the 50. Now, don't get me wrong. The candle closes in a little over five hours. So we could have a wick above. We could hold it. So it's possible. So stay tuned for that. But uh, it's, not, it's not looking good right now. Uh, once again, we had the cross right here, not looking good. A lot of negative momentum. No bueno, no bueno. But of course, uh, we've been kind of holding here. We finally broke down below the 44. Looks like we're currently around 42-ish. We still have room to go down on the RSI if it, uh, I mean, that's what we're seeing here. The MACD is showing negative momentum. RSI is trending down. Price action is going down as well. So would not be surprised to see that happen. But, with our, but our, I also see here on the Bitcoin chart, I also see some bearish divergence here. Or, and some hidden bullish divergence. So we'll see which one plays out. Um, obviously, hope, I hope the hidden bullish divergence plays out because that's bullish. But at the end of the day, you know, I do believe we're in, in a bull market and a more of a pullback. I, I, I don't think we're going to be tr tr changing the trend. It's just, uh, you know, wiping out the weak hands. That's my personal opinion. Um, but as always, you know, I'm just a dude on the internet. I could be 1000% wrong. So what do you guys think is going to happen? Do you think we're going to pop up? You think we're going to continue the bull flag, which I mean, really, it doesn't look like we're going to continue. Um, it, it's come slam back down, but uh, we may end up seeing some kind of a double bottom, if that's what you, what you want to call it, like we did back here in uh, January. So we dipped here and then dipped again here. Would not be surprised to see that just to scare all the weak hands out. That's tends to be what Bitcoin does. So 
Um, what's your opinions of that? Let me know down below. And do you guys hold up some DNT since like under a penny? Let me know as well. And thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Smack that subscribe button, smack that like button if you have not already. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one. And until then, may the gains be with you.